We set out on an epic 10-day, 3,600 nautical mile trek to Reno and back in our 1979 Cherokee 6. Along the way, we explored some of America's most iconic destinations. Come right along with us. See national parks, landmarks, cities and towns from the air and the ground. Epic Trek, Reno or Bust, right now, here on 6-0 Alpha. All electrical off, fuel selector to the fullest tank, and the brakes are set. Full throttle open. There it goes. Clear! We'll pick up our clearance in the air since we can take off VFR. All right, stand by, stand by. You want to program the box? It's a really easy one today. There's two, two waypoints. Okay, make sure to lean for taxi. Here we go. Empty collisions on, check the brakes. Brakes are good. Alpha traffic, Cherokee 816, Alpha taxi to uh, 36 Alpha. Welcome back, day 10, Epic Trek 2021. A simple objective today, take it home. We got grounded yesterday by the remnants of a hurricane. Overnight, it's weakened and turned east, so we slept in this morning to buy us some more time. A VFR takeoff, but we filed IFR as we'll be in and out of the clouds and dodging convective activity all day. Closer to home, things get a bit more serious as we approach the back end of the storm. We'll definitely be shooting an instrument approach into Warsaw down the minimum. Should be a fun day of doing all that pilot sh stuff. Come on along! Alpha Regional Airport controls automated Correct. weather observation 1405 Zulu. Wind 320 at 12 knots. Peak gusts 18 knots. Visibility more than 10. Sky condition clear below 12,000. Okay. Temperature 2, 3 Celsius. Dew point 17 Celsius. Altitude 3, 0, 0, 6 inches of mercury. Remarks density altitude 2, 8, 0, 0. Oh, we don't have to mess with leaning or anything or all hey. that. You ready to go? Yes, sir. All right. Get it home, Daddy. I will do my best. We have a fighting chance. Hey. Alpha Unicom Cherokee 8160 Alpha departing 36 to the northeast. Alpha. Okay, we've got pretty stiff headwind here, so we're gonna effective velocity over the wings is gonna get us off the ground pretty quick here. Landing light off, fuel pump off, still flying. Kansas City Center, Cherokee 8160 Alpha. Number 8160 Alpha, Kansas City Center, welcome airborne off Alpha. A firm. Number 8160 Alpha, squawk 1733. 173360 Alpha. Number 8160 Alpha radar contact. Let's call it uh, one zero miles north uh, east of the Alpha Airport. Stay altitude. Passing through 5,100. November 8160 Alpha cleared to the Alpha Sierra Whiskey Airport to be as filed. Time maintained at 9,000. We wish to out. Summit 3001. 6 0 Alpha is cleared as filed. Uh, climb maintained 9,000. Altimeter 3001. 6 0 Alpha. Cleared as filed. Now we're 816 Alpha for uh, Cloudbusters up ahead. Turn 10 degrees to the rise. The vectors around the Cloudbusters rocket launch. <laughs> and as predicted, here comes the cloud layer. Hey. But we should have a pretty smooth ride on top until we get to uh, Romeo, Romeo, St. Romeo, Louis. Transfer squawk 4605. We got a blinky light in. Number 58086, contact Oklahoma City Approach. One, two, Thank you. One, two, four, I appreciate point, your help. Four, six, you do a good job. Number five, Fox, You're going to make someone a good husband someday. 
I'm just training you for how it's going to be. Oh, honey, will you do this? Will you do that? Oh, honey, our grass needs to be mowed. Oh, I need a pickup truck. Oh, I... <laughs> <laughs> and you just nod your head and say, uh-huh, okay. Yes, okay. dear. Oh, there's the salt flats. I want to see the Cloudbuster uh, rocket. Kansas the city center walk. My blower for you in ah. about two minutes. Oklahoma salt flats. Apparently, there used to be an inland sea here for all that tectonic action and that's a good sign. Once we, we're gonna, when we get near Southern Missouri, we're gonna be actually in the low. So there'll be no wind. It'll be swirling around us. So we'll lose the tailwind. And then when we get to St. Louis, the wind coming around, right? It's gonna 20 knots. We'll pick up about a 20 knot tailwind just east of St. Louis if things go according to the plan. We are at 21, yeah. That's we were almost basically where we are at. And we want 15 gallons an hour here, and that should put us right there. All right, here we go. EFR on top, baby. A halfway home here, just outside of St. Louis. Ran into some. Uh, some rain down in Oklahoma, the tops were a little bit higher than we thought, so we filed at 9,000, we ended up climbing to 1-1-11,000, and we got a pretty smooth ride up here, a pretty sweet view. So we are right in the middle of a low pressure system right now, it's pretty cool, it's, I can imagine what flying through a hurricane is like. Crystal blue skies, very calm, clouds all below us. We went through what would be the eye wall back in uh, southwestern Missouri. And we're going to enter the eye wall here just east of St. Louis over in, into Illinois. So we'll be uh, threading our way through those. Got the oxygen on here. The uh, pulse ox was down to 85. So uh, my old lungs, I guess, uh, and heart just aren't as efficient anymore. So here we are. Again, a shout out to TG for loaning me the system. Much appreciated, my man. Came in handy. My daughter thanks you too. She doesn't like when her lips turn blue. About two and a half uh, hours ago here. Two, yeah, two and a half. Approaches at you at 342, The advantage of being up here is we get a nice little tailwind, about 10 to 15 knots, and we're sipping gas. Burning 13 gallons an hour now. Normally we're about 15, so we'll take it. See the. Thunderstorms there. We got you at 342. You can proceed direct Hallsville, climbing 10 15000. Direct Hallsville, climbing 10 15000. We got you at 342. Jet Link 62. Nasty, contact, massive Jet thunderstorms over there. Nasty, massive thunderstorms over there. I mean, you can see the tops of them, right? 35, 40,000 feet. Here, 331. And there's a nice little corridor right here. Just like, just like I called it up. Uh huh. Yeah. Seven eight one six zero Alpha contact Chicago Center one one nine er point two two good day one one nine er point two two thanks for the help see you six zero Alpha yeah. Chicago Center Cherokee eight one six zero Alpha checking with you with you level one one eleven thousand eight one six zero Alpha Chicago Center from Bloomington Center two nine er two nine er nine er one six zero Let's brief the approach here, the RNAV GPS 9 at Warsaw. Envoy 3522 to set and maintain. Runway, we got 5,100 feet of runway, touchdown zone elevation, 845 airport elevation, 850. AWOS 122.125. We've got AWOS, the winds are 100 at 5. Visibility is 10. Overcast at 1100. We will be talking to Fort Wayne. And our UNICOM is 122.7. Uh, my ATM. So check our magnetic heading. Uh, zero six seven zero six seven. Chicago. Identify. There's nothing to identify. Our course is zero nine two. Our entry will be direct. I'm going to ask Virginia. Altitude will be 2800 to Cub Key, which is the final approach fix. Then down to 1095. 
Yeah, go ahead for sure, 912. There is 912 miles. 1095. And her name and is. And one mile visibility. That'll be 300 feet above the ground. We should break out well below that. Time, there is no time. This approach straight ahead, climbing 3,000 to Dabby and Holt. Hold on, sorry, say again. Uh, what's your name so we can uh, add that to the big greedy? Okay, my name is Madeline. All right, we got it. Thank hey, you. Madeline. Southbound approach. All right. Five eight Yankee Mike. We're IFR. Turkey five eight Yankee Mike. Southbound departure. I yes, we are. Three thousand. November 8160 Alpha across Jidna at or above four thousand. Cleared straight in our nav niner approach Warsaw. Cross Jidna at or above 4,000, cleared straight in approach, RNAV 09, Warsaw 6 or Alpha. All right, so 4,000 at Jidna. That's better. 094, 094. November 8160 Alpha, no traffic is there between you and the Warsaw Airport. Report your IFR cancellation on the ground via Fort Wayne clearance delivery or in the air via Fort Wayne approach, and that's 127.2. Change advisory frequency approved. Have a good day. Over to advisory, and uh, we'll contact Fort Wayne on the ground and cancel the IFR 6 0 Alpha. Thanks for the help. Prop full forward, mixtures to rich, landing light on, fuel pump on, one notch of flaps. Here comes the glide slope. We're almost centered on the needle here. The GPS's or the uh, autopilot's doing the work for me. All right, here comes Cub Key, which is my final approach fix. There's Cupkey coming down now. Right on glide slope. Of course, our unit come Cherokee 8160 Alpha now on the final for the RNAV 095 to the west. This will be a full stop, Warsaw. Wind check. Visibility 4, missed. Ceiling 1,100. Overcast temperature 1 niner Celsius. Dew point 1 8 altimeter 2 niner niner 4. Correcting. 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 comes the ground. We're a little low. Altitude. Needle centered. We're a little low. Add some power. Turn on some lights. Still a little low and we're drifting left. Correcting. And 95, so 500 to go. Now we're high. There's the runway, see it? Yep, bingo baby. All right, so we've got it made. Now all we gotta do is land the airplane. See the runway? Yeah, no, but yeah. yeah. All right, we've got it made, so I'll bring in another notch of flaps. Pitch for 90. Warsaw traffic, Cherokee, get you one six or Alpha, short final, full stop, zero nine, Warsaw. Don't let me forget to cancel IFR when I get on the ground, otherwise they'll send out a search and rescue party. Gas undercarriage mixture prop switches. Right on speed, a little high, a little power to break that descent. Crosswind correction.
laps out. Oh yeah. I done did her. Fort Wayne Cherokee 160 Alpha on the ground, safe in Warsaw. Cancel Alpha. Cherokee 160 Alpha, Fort Wayne approach IFR cancellation received, and have a good day. You too, thanks for the help. See you. Goodbye. Landing light off, fuel pump off, mixture to lean for taxi. And that's why I got an instrument rating. That was fun. Because we would have been stuck in St. Louis. We could not have landed here. It's not VFR weather, obviously. Oh, how was that for an epic family adventure? We did it. I appreciate everyone's help, especially Mr. Ian being my co-pilot up here. I know it puts a little stress on you, but you did great, buddy. Couldn't do it without you. Okay. See ya!